Casanova. He was never in the Oval Office. We didn't have an interview. Uh, and uh, I did a quick interview with him a long time ago having to do with an article. But I don't know this man. I guess uh, Sloppy Steve brought him into the White House quite a bit. And it was one of those things. That's why Sloppy Steve is now looking for a job. Okay, who else do you have just? Now, earlier in a series of tweets, President Trump denied the claims that were made in the book. He said, and I quote, Now that Russian collusion after one year of intense study has proven to be a total hoax on the American public, the Democrats and their lapdogs, the fake news mainstream media, are taking out the old Ronald Reagan playbook and are screaming mental stability and intelligence. I went from being a very successful businessman to being a top TV star to being the President of the United States on my very first attempt. I think that would qualify as not just smart, but as genius and a very stable genius at that. So this is what Donald Trump has had to say about himself. And also earlier, Donald Trump had criticized Michael Wolf, the writer of Fire and Fury. Through his tweets, the US President called Wolf a total loser and the book really boring and untruthful. To uh, the best colleges in college, uh, I went to a, I had a situation where I was a very excellent student, came out, made billions and billions of dollars, became one of the top business people, went to television and for 10 years was a tremendous success, as you probably have heard. Uh, ran for president one time and won. And then I hear this guy that uh, does it not know me, doesn't know me at all. By the way, did not interview me for three, he said he interviewed me for three hours at the White House. It didn't exist, okay? It's in his imagination. 